I'm right outside Patel Brothers in Hicksville, Long Island, and today is the third annual India Day Parade USA in Long Island, marking the 68th year of India's independence. And this year's Grand Marshal is none other than Bollywood actress Punam Dhillon. There's nothing more powerful than a peace and a freedom, and but all of our elders who had sacrificed for it, we must continue to uh, have that success and continue to enjoy and do it for our children and their children. A free mind can do everything good, a stressed mind can do achieve nothing. So we must keep the freedom, freedom of living, freedom of thinking, freedom of enjoying together. I'm Dr. Bhavani Srinivasan. I'm chair uh, on the committee for community liaison. This is a gorgeous day. We're going to have a wonderful parade. It's going to be an audio visual treat. And don't forget the shopping arcade at the end of it, you know, you know, the rainbow, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Well, that's going to be that because you're going to have something to eat. You're going to have something to shop. You are going to have a ball. आज सबको इंडिया डे की थर्ड परेड पर और इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस डे के ऊपर सबको बहुत बहुत बधाई हो लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग एवरी ईयर वन थिंग दैट वी डेफिनेटली डू इज ग्रो we grow day by day by day this year we have more marching groups compared to the last two years congratulations to india independence day to everybody who is watching ivs i tv and uh, this is a big day of course it's a big day it's not for one religion it's not for one state it's not for one like a north india or south india it's for all indian community <laughs> I would like to congratulate each and everybody for 67th Independence Day celebrations that India Day Parade is uh, doing that such a wonderful job here. We are participating as a TLCA here every year and uh, again I congratulate everybody I want you to enjoy. This. Yeah it's very important we as youth come together and like put together shows you know dance together and make sure that like everyone knows our culture. and self realization means you know yourself first unless until you have peace inside you how can you pray for somebody else's peace so have that peace inside realize yourself who you are through that divine knowledge eternal knowledge and then spread the message so that the whole world becomes one family I'm Tammy Robbins and this is uh, Judge Jager. I'm Judge Robbins. We are both sitting county court judges elected in 2004 at the end of our 10 years running for another term and what a beautiful day you guys got for your parade. I'm so happy. Beautiful. And I, Thank you. And I'm Judge Steven Jager, also a county court judge. Uh we're uh, happy to be here. Congratulations to everyone involved in the parade. Uh and uh we hope it's a wonderful day. Were you there last time as well? I don't remember being here last no, time. No, I, I was not. So, no, I, we were not. Well, what are your expectations? It's a big, huge parade for well, Indian America. First of all, it is a color. It's so beautifully. Everyone looks so beautiful, and just to celebrate the culture, the food, the the, se the sense of community. What could be better on a beautiful sunny day with not a cloud in the sky? I'm here with Donna and Danny, and um, Donna, you work in the court system in Manhattan, and you're so much part of the parade today. I mean, I can see you giving out flyers and the bags over oh, here to it. the different floats. And Danny, you seem to be like very much together with this whole thing. Yeah. So let's talk to Mom first. Okay. You know, how did you get involved in the Inner Day Parade? Well, I live in Hicksville, right. and then I happened to meet Bobby, and then after that, me and Danny decided to be part of it the first year. Last year we couldn't do it, but this year we're back and helping out. So and next even more. What have you learned about Indian culture and tradition? Very nice people. Um it's growing. Yes. Very very fast. I want to help other cultures grow in my community and I want everyone to strive. I'm here with the participants from the New York Kali Mandir and I'm really I'm very proud that we Indian community we're doing this big kind of things and We are very fortunate to participate this time from our New York Kali Temple. I'm talking to New York State Senator Dean Scalas and you have the speaker of four Senate as well. Well, right? I'm the president of the Senate and the majority leader yes. in New York State and it's wonderful to be here with all my Indian friends. Uh this is a beautiful day, a beautiful occasion and certainly the Indian community is one of the most beautiful part of our Nassau County. Senator Dean Scalas is the person who has been there for decades 
in, uh, in Albany and representing Long Island over here. And he is the one who is responsible to maintain the balance in the political life. And he is the one who is responsible to keep our taxes low, which is very important to make sure the schools have adequate funding, that they provide the education, the quality education. And he has been there for the Indian community for a long, long period, period of time. And it's nice talking to all of you, wishing you happy Independence Day. Jai Hind! I think we're all coming here to enjoy ourselves and really understanding the significance of independence, freedom, and what liberty really means to all of us Indian Americans in the United States. <laughs> I'm here with Monica Sharma. She was crowned recently Miss Congeniality in the Miss New, New York, York City, City Beauty Pageant. Monica looks nice. Your sash looks great. Tell us what independence really means to you. Independence means to me that we are, we are free to pursue anything that we want in life. I think we should be very well proud of our culture, our heritage, our India, because honestly, in the last 30 years, we have come a long way. <laughs> We are looking forward for a third India Day Parade and nothing is possible without our chairman who has worked very hard. We want to thank all our committee members for all the work that they have done. We are honored to be with uh, our Grand Master Poonam Dilanji. We wish you a happy Independence Day and we thank you for what you're doing for our community here in Nassau County. And I'm going to say something that might surprise many of you. The beauty of the town of Oyster Bay and Hicksville is much less about government and much more about the people who live here. It's an honor to be here. It's a beautiful day for a parade to celebrate uh, India Day Parade uh, and Indian Independence. It's a beautiful day. Uh, looks like we have people everywhere. It seems like uh, we are in India, not in Hicksville. But uh, it's a beautiful day to join together and make this event uh, successful. And we have a great honorable people here on the stage, and including our Grand Marshal Poonam Telonji. Uh, and many of you have seen her on the big screen, and today she's going to be marching right along with you. I think you should enjoy that moment uh, walking with her. And beside that, we have our town supervisor, John Benedetto and many judges here, which I don't know everybody's name. Uh, welcome to the India Day Parade. Uh, this parade will not be successful without all of you being here. And your sport, John, uh, being in a town supervisor, this is being in a third parade. Uh, we are truly appreciate it. And you have honored this community as the part of this uh, beautiful America. Uh, many of us came here a bit of dollar and dream, and uh, many of us made of herself a great name, uh, been successful in being in a job, businessman, entrepreneur, or regardless what shape and form that you've been involved in here. But today is the day not only to celebrate the Indian freedom, we also need to celebrate as an American Indian, as being our next generation being born here and teaching them the culture. Uh, we are equally, as Indians, uh, we are equally as an Americans. This is a beautiful day to enjoy. Have a great time. Let's march together and make this parade the most successful parade today. Thank you. We're going to start up here. I'm going to keep it brief, but it's such a wonderful day. I want to thank you all for coming out to support India Parade and Independence Day. And I wish all of you good fortune for the rest of the year. I've gotten a chance to see firsthand how all of you have had a positive impact on India, on America, and around the world. Okay, this year's Grand Marshal is a very renowned Bollywood actress. She's done over a hundred films. She's a stage actress, and she's also a television actress. And she's got this time a Nahi Pachan. Ek Nahi Pachan. It's give it up for Panam Telan.
And I'm so happy that I'm seeing these faces beaming, smiling, and here in the afternoon uh, on what I call an Indian summer day. <laughs> we brought the sun along and it's as hot as it is in India today. Um, thank you for having me and saying all these wonderful things. It is indeed an honor to be here as the Grand Marshal. It means a lot to me. I actually had to a little bit wrestle with my production team to take off for these four days so I could come here. And uh, it meant a lot to me, that's why I did. Uh, we talked about Ek Nahi Pehchan, films, television. It's wonderful medium of interacting with all our friends from all over the world. And I think that's a binding factor. Our films and television holds us and binds us together over the years. But I must congratulate all of you Indians who've come here from different parts of India and been here for years. Some of you have been probably the second generation, third generation. But one thing which you all have proudly kept together is the tradition of India, the culture of India. You all celebrate our beautiful Indian functions. And I think today the most important our Independence Day because that is some one day which breaks all the barriers of caste, creed, religion, anything. And as United Indians, we all celebrate. Celebrated. I think India today is on the threshold of greatness. We, we have wonderful leaders today there and we are marching ahead at a phenomenal speed. And I think already Indians have made a huge impact wherever they've gone. That's due to their hard work, to their intelligence, their integrity and the family values which we hold together. And that I think it takes us a long way. I think the rest of the world learns from that, that that's what is the binding factor and that's what the strength of India is. I thank all of you once again, uh, Bobby ji, Peter ji, Indu ji, thank you all of you, all of you on the committee for inviting me here today and the sponsors, Patel Brothers and all of you. I don't know all the names, but from my heart, I appreciate the togetherness and the uh, generosity which is shown in being here today. America, the oldest democracy, and India, the largest democracy, come together to share culture, friendship, fellowship. And today we walk, we march, we're proud of our history, we're proud of our culture, and most importantly, on behalf of Nassau County, we thank all of you. Everybody, here we go. What a great couple, a dancing couple. Come on, you're a great dancing couple, the Manganos. Manganos, Nassau County Executive, Mr. Mangano and his wife right here with the Beautiful and very hardworking uh, public officials. I have people running for judges today. Helen Bettina is running for family court director. Joe Lawrence. Uh, the American community and the American community are one today to celebrate the phenomenal achievement. County Executive, Mr. Mangano, please come up and say a few words. Namaste to you. All right, it's great to be here. I have some great colleagues in Nassau County government. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now we...